It's Tuesday, and you know what that means. It's IndyCar Night on iRacing. Hello again, everyone. I am Gary Gonzo, and welcome to the race first coverage of round two of season two of 2024 of the IndyCar Oval Series for the Tuesday night top split. Coming to you from Charlotte Motor Speedway. No Lowe's Motor Speedway, none of this corporate sponsorship. Charlotte Motor Speedway, as God intended. So, uh, running with some substitute power here in the booth as our driver expert he has two top five finishes in the indyfix championship and he's a multi-time winner in the lionheart series including in the dw12 speedway series please welcome to the program the infamous lgn luis gonzalez nunez luis pleasure to have you here 
uh, IndyCars at Charlotte. We were actually going to have a race last week uh, in the ISRA DW12 series here, and it didn't go off as planned, but some of the things we talk about are some of the same things these drivers are going to face here. Very narrow, very bumpy, and these tires are going to give out. But what's the biggest difference that we expect to see between a normal day race here and a night race here at Charlotte? Thank you so much, Gary, for having me here, finally. <laughs> uh, yeah, finally, finally, we, I am here. And I here again in Charlotte, uh, very, very difficult, uh, especially with a white jacket. Uh, in, the day, in the days, uh, well, the, the, the track is super difficult. It's really, really uh, sleepy after uh, after 30 laps or after uh, 20 or after the 25 laps. It's getting more sleepy. But at night, the tires is different. So you talking about the D, uh, DW12. The DW12, we don't have a adjustment inside the car. Mm -hmm. But this this the uh, R18, uh, R18, they have adjustment. So. The people understand about the weight jacket, about the the RRB back or front, is it's gonna be a good uh, advantage. But I think, I hope, I hope for the viewers, I hope for me, I hope for you, I hope it's not gonna be a pack racing and just only uh, working with the throttle. All right. Well, we are watching right now with a minute. I'm trying to get trading paints has been acted weird here, but now we got it going. Uh, minute 30 left to play. Uh, our good partner, Murphy, Mark Murphy, Murph up at the top. Well, he was pr just for a moment uh, with 217.4. Oster at the top now with a 217.9, so five tenths faster for Jacob Oster. Kyle Clinsworth, Clindy, one of our pro uh, fa uh, friends here of the program, one of the guys I work with in the booth. Uh, he's here provisionally fourth with a 217.2. Bruno Romanzini provisionally sixth with a 217, uh, actually now seventh with a 217. 260 Brophy at the top now with a 218 flat. So big laps are getting thrown down. Very big names here. Very, very big names. I really like it. This split. I really like it. To see Brophy in Maleska Blocker. Blocker's really I remember I don't remember Blocker being on IndyCar Fixer Serie. So I really glad to be this guy here. And uh, happy, happy to see this great split. All right, 22 seconds left here. And before we get into the action, I'm just couple, checking a couple ch check bo tick boxes here. Uh, make sure that we're streaming. Sounds good, everything. Uh, IndyCar has, uh, and when the uh, IndyCar was then known as the Indy Racing League, it came to Charlotte twice in 97 and 98. Actually, it came three times, 97, 98, and 99. Track record set by uh, Tony Stewart in 98, uh, driving for Team Menard at the speed of 220.498. Uh, it's nearly 25 years, now 25 years, actually now after the fact. This continues to be the existing track record here at Charlotte. Uh, the career wins leaders here at Charlotte are held by a pair of Indy 500 champs. Buddy Lazier won the inaugural Visionaire 500K here in 97 for his only second career IndyCar win at the time. Kenny Breck won here in 98 for his first career win. Kenny's win here was the catalyst of him winning the IRL Championship in 1998. Uh, beginning at Charlotte, Kenny won three straight races in route to the 98 title. But uh, before we get into racing, help us keep uh, the positive momentum. If you enjoy race first coverage of the 40 race, where Tuesday night IndyCar Oval Series top split and you respect the stream, please do us a solid. Make sure you support us by subscribing and why at it. Don't forget to smash like and click the bell so you don't miss out on future iRacing broadcasts. Let's get into this starting lineup here at Charlotte. 
On the pole, Jason Brophy with a 24 flat. Right behind him, Hamilton McAwaze. Hamilton there with a 24-012 himself. And an identical time set by Jacob Boster for P3. RM3, Robert Molechka, last season's champion, with the number one in this particular uh, split with a 24 flat as well. Adam Blocker, another 24 flat. And Jesper Orman with another 24 flat. Look how close those times are to the second and third decimal point. That's what we're looking at in terms of how close the competition is. Seb Alexander, seventh. Murph, eight. Rodrigo Franzoni, ninth. Clindy, tenth. Bruno Ramanzini, eleventh. Trey Shadid, twelfth. Moving on back, Alan Marrera, thirteenth. For Porti, fourteenth. Ponto, fifteenth. Nick Sudik, another one of our broadcast partners. He is sixteenth. Ty Quilla, 17th and another one of our broadcast partners Antonio Estrada 18th this is why I had no one to work the booth tonight uh, Lewis <laughs> Beto Sousa 19th Craig Forsyth 20th uh, the Sidewinder Alexander Ragon in 21st Mar uh, Marcio Baroni in 22nd Brian Campbell 23rd and Rafi Eckert in 24th and uh, wrapping up the uh, tail end of the field is Cody Knapmiller and 25th with no time, probably going to uh, try to do the uh, worst to first challenge here at Charlotte. Gritting up, we're just a couple turns away from going racing for 75 laps. Lining up down the backstretch, some other cars trying to quickly get in line. We see a, a host of them coming at a pretty high speed down uh, into turns one and two. 24 degrees of banking, very bumpy, and uh, it is very narrow here. Even in these cars, uh, you cannot go much wider than too wide uh, in these corners. If you do, um, you need to have the complete faith uh, of all the drivers around you by not wadding it up because it is very narrow. Speaking of narrow, uh, yes, we're Orman and uh, Blocker do not want to give each other an inch there on row three. <laughs> <laughs> Brophy is going to bring them down and he wastes no time. We are green here at Charlotte and Jacob Oster and his teammate. Now we're going to, what was I talking about? Three wide just a second ago, three wide in the one. Now they get down to two, but uh, Brophy uh, is your leader followed by Jacob Oster. Who's followed right up the middle. And here comes Adam Blocker. Adam Blocker to the bottom, looking in the three. He sends it to the lead blocker. They look it. They look, they go for the first one. They, if you go first, you have better better air to drive the car under the line so it's really smart a, blo a blocker to to try to get now the the first position he's still battle it's still battle on the back still battle on the front i'm very excited to this race here's clindy and franzoni back in 10th it's side by side And Akabwezi looking high in corners one and two. Going to get a good run down the backstretch. Three wide down the backstretch. Brophy in the middle. Here we go. In the three. And I talk about you need to have complete faith with the drivers around you. And that is what you have in a top split race. As both these, all three of those drivers with high I rating done this before and having complete trust of the drivers around them. Also in this battle, my man Jesper Orman right there on the bottom trying to get the nose underneath Jesper Orman. Three wide again down the back stretch. Looking for the back uh, backfield. Everybody is really patient. They don't need to have a like a the battle. They have about three wide for the lead. If I am, if I over there, I just waited for the tire, save the tire. Really, I prefer to save my tires to be um, like a profit to try to fight for everything. But hey, they know each other. They know for a long time. So I think they don't need to. Uh, if, he, if I block her, I really trust to uh, Jason Profit while he's doing so. Blocker, the Dark Knight, on the bottom line, the IRL line. 
uh, which is the fastest line around here. Uh, a lot of these tracks sometimes, um, especially when the tires start to go, the higher line tends to come in. But right now, while the tires are still fresh and uh, just real quick, the weather situation, 75 degrees track temperature, 73% humidity, 72 degrees to ambient. So we're not we're looking at an extremely fast track when I say all those numbers. The track temperature is not high at all. For, uh, for sure, it's not really high for the tire. I know uh, we're talking about Celsius. I, I, I really know 24 is not really high for the tires. So, what I guess, Profin is just sort of safe tires. What would you second? You don't have uh, any uh, problem for that, but the guy on fourth place, uh, Jesco. Uh, oh, Jasper. Jasper. Should be he gonna be a problem uh, after 35 laps? Be behind to Adam Blocker, especially the profit now is uh, behind to Blocker. So that's the gap. So that's the the, the the problem. So the first two cars they don't have uh, any problems for the tires, but then for third to back, mm -hmm. that's gonna be a, a handicap. Well, Kyle Clinworth, we just saw him. He is making the top side work. He's right on top of uh, the top side there of Seb Alexander. Now he's trying to get the move on RM3, last season's champion. Getting a good run off the corner. He is flirting with that wall. How quickly do you run out of racetrack on exit of corner four here? It's like a funnel. It's, well, it's really, uh, it's a crazy very crazy to see the wall very close on you and it's like a, you realize in your mind oh the, the the wall is too far but when you realize it to go outside when you go exit the the turn four and see the wall super close you can getting realizes oh my god this is really close <laughs> and you go super faster and and you realize you realize that the, the wall is so far but it's super close and I said before the race, 70 laps, or 75 laps. We are 70 laps. So uh, a one-stopper. They do have tire limits here in the fixed series, uh, or the oval series, excuse me, now. Uh, it is uh, three sets, one in the pits, uh, and, uh, well, excuse me, one on the set, on the car and two in the pits. Uh, but our top five remains, although Clinworth has worked that tie side all the way to fifth spot. He is up five spots himself. He is the biggest gainer in this race other Rafi Eckert. Rafi Eckert started shotgun on the field pretty much and is up to 18th already. But uh, Clindy working the top line. He's in that black 14. Very appropriate to have a black 14. Do you remember which race was in Texas? They canceled because uh, everybody, all the drivers is getting DC. Was yeah. it Champ Car? Yeah, it was a Champ Car. It was the uh, fi uh, Firestone Firehawk 600. Um, yes. And that was in 99. And uh, kind of that was at the that was like the beginning of the end of cart at that point. But they were uh, the pole lap there was uh, Kenny Breck with a 233 mile power pole lap. And it's funny later, uh, I think so months later, the Indy Racing League racing. Texas. Yeah. So I said that because you're asking me about how is fast the car. So I cannot realize how the sensation is or the feeling is inside the car 360 or 225 or 30 miles per hour per hour in this car. And uh, it's really fast. So it's, uh, I know the, the Indy car is not really too fast for this uh, ovals like uh, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, mm -hmm. but it's still, it's still, it's still, still scary. It's still scary at this moment, though. Yeah, last lap, Bob, we got the last laps up for everybody. The leaders all 214, 213 down the Malechka. 212s a little bit further on back so leaders are still hauling a pretty good pace at 214 one by blocker uh the purple lap uh so far i'll get you that one here in just a second 
Uh, but we are 18 laps into this thing. Thanks for joining. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying the action. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Got a lot more iRacing action this week, including DW12 action tomorrow. It'll be LGN and me tomorrow again for the ISRA. Thursday, FIS will be Stephen and me for the FIS uh, at uh, about uh, 9 o'clock uh, for that as well. And then uh, IIS this week, uh, where we're going to uh, Fontana. And uh, my, uh, here's my uh, broadcast partner. There he is, Antonio Estrada. Getting past, though, but he's, he's still heavily engaged here. He and I will be doing IIS at 2 p.m. on Saturday. So big week here. So make sure to like, share, subscribe. Would certainly appreciate it. Uh, the faster car is car 24, Bruno Romanzini. Oh, Romanzini with the perfect lap? Zero. Okay. Yes. 24.077. Was it the faster car? Yeah, and he's up to 11th. And uh, we could give you real quick what that is. Uh, Romanzini, 217.3. 217.398. Almost a 217.4. Back up front, Blocker is your leader. Brophy, uh, he, those two have been on a pretty much a, uh, a uh, uh, tied to a rope to each other since this race started. Side by side again down the back stretch. Blocker, Brophy, Akobwezi, a very interested party, looking hot. Have been on the high side the entire time. Uh, probably better for his tires up there, but he has been third for most of the time. Working his way up the fourth is Orman. Fifth is Clinsworth. Sixth is Oster. Falling back there a little bit but to uh, one of his uh, racing mates, Malechka. And seventh, Seb Alexander. Uh, he is uh, back there in eighth. Mark Murphy. Murph is in ninth. His teammate, Trey Shadid, is in tenth. And then, uh, as for mentioned, the fastest car, or at least the car at the fastest lap at the moment, Romanzini, P11. And we've got one car out right now, Matthew Ponto, uh, showing uh, uh, done for the day. 24 cars still are running. Everybody is still on the lead lap with the exception of the 25th place car. Clean and green the entire way. And uh, we are, the window is open, folks. If they want to go the distance now, they can stop early and give it a shot. Uh, it's right about lap 24, 25, 26. If they wanted to try to stretch it very early, but I don't think anyone's going to pit very early. I, I would imagine they're waiting for a caution. I I watch now the the incident from uh, Brian Campbell, lap nine, uh, by Neto. So that's why uh, Matthew Ponto. Ponto, is okay. On. Yes. He hit the wall. I don't know how to manage man to go to the pits, but without wheel. <laughs> uh, Campbell he in did. that uh, Dale Coin uh, livery from uh, last year. It's, uh, Stingray Rob drove that. Or Stingray driving for AJ Foyt. So AJ Foyt did uh, did win here. His team did win here uh, in the three races that the Indy Racing League did run here. He won in that uh, second year with Kenny Breck. Uh, which is kind of a prelude to Kenny winning. Uh, he won the championship, and then, uh, of course, the next year was kind of the prelude for him winning the Indy 500. Uh, but uh, the Super Techs did win here. His team did. And then the uh, third year, unfortunately, was that year. Um, and I was at the first two races. I was here at 97 and 98. Actually, I made the trip from Indianapolis to Charlotte because I, uh, I very badly wa wanted to watch Indy cars on uh, Charlotte. And it is a very good show. Uh, but the uh, third year is when that uh, tire, unfortunately, from Stan Waddle's car, I believe, went into the crowd and uh, killed a spectator. And then after that, uh, the uh, Indy Racing League or Indy cars never returned. The last time there was anything remotely official with Indy cars running at Charlotte is uh, New Garden did a uh, exhibition on the Roval uh, during, um, I, I believe, the Roval, which was the fall date. And uh, he just won the IndyCar Series Championship, so they had him come and run the uh, Oval for an exhibition um, during uh, that uh, NASCAR weekend there. Um, so that's the last time any IndyCar really has run here in a semi-official capacity. Uh, that was going about five years or so ago. 
30 of 70 in the books. Blocker and Brophy still continue to swap the lead, although I don't think Brophy's led an official lap yet. Maybe parts of one. But uh, we will still see uh, Ekowazi third, Orman fourth, Clindworth fifth. Everyone in the top ten, uh, with the exception of uh, Rafi Eckert, up four st uh, 14 spots. Let's take a look back at that. What do you think of uh, Rafi's uh, run to the front there in that uh, leader energy entry? Um, I think, well, the, the, the switch is complete, so Rafi is inside. They're still in the second place. So I think Block is going to be first to coming in. Okay. Uh, then Brofin, and then everybody gonna follow Brofin. So, um, it's gonna be chaotic if he come in everybody at the same time, for sure. But I Ooh. think Blocker always, if if I Blocker, I gonna put it in two laps or one laps to go, so my tank is gone. But uh, what I guess, the guy to survive a little bit one lap is gonna be Hamilton. And uh, do you remember when I told you about Jasper? Yeah. Yes. It's because the tires. The tires are going to be done soon. And um, fun because uh, Hamilton is going on the third line, try to set tires. More high is going, much better for the tires. And uh, if you go first or second, like a blocker and a profit doing now, yeah, for sure the team best must uh, save, save the tires better. But I think is I hope I hope a block is going first and and uh, dropping second. If we go both together, let's see <laughs> how fun it's gonna be. We got the general Kevin Burrell in chat says the uh, my taskbar is visible. Well, yeah, I had to uh, restart uh, trading paints. It was acting weird for some reason. Uh, and that got that working now we can hide the taskbar but uh man this battle for the front has not ceased at all one two and three who's gonna be your pick this is the question my pick um yes. well i i think if he can catch up to this group and uh, he, he, he runs a lot like Rick Mears. You don't really see him until the time really count is Malechka. I'm back here in sixth. He will be my pick to uh, get up into this mess eventually up there. He is uh, making some moves now, getting underneath Clindy for fifth. He's been saving his tires. He was in a battle with Oster, and now he's pulled away from Oster. So he's about the only car right now that's been able to make any forward progress, with the exception of Rafi Eckert. Rafi Eckert now is up to eighth. He is up to 16 in. spots. Mm -hmm. I see more finishing. The number car eight is ready to the pit, so it's ready got to go. Trace Shadid. Okay, Trace Shadid yeah. made his stop, so he should be good to go to the end there. And he's going to have clean racetrack uh, in front of him. He is down a lap, uh, and he did stop with Murphy, his teammate, Mark Murphy. Nick Sudik on the backstretch getting a position from Brian Campbell. Brian Campbell, despite having that incident uh, with Ponto, uh, worked his way up 10 spots to 13th. Nick Sudik up four spots to 12th. Ty Quilla, the next car he will attack. Ty Quilla in that NVIDIA livery. That's a good-looking livery there. He's up to 11th. Roman Zini now 10th. Seb Alexander back to 9th. Been following the progress of Rafi Eckert. And here comes Jacob Oster on the pit road. Yes, sir. So it's time. It's yeah, time. It is it's time. time. It is it time. Is. <laughs> it is. The dinner bell has rang. It is time for these cars to eat. New tires, full fuel, and that should get them to the final laps here. 70 laps here at uh, Charlotte. Thanks for joining us. Adam Blocker is your leader. This is uh, the second round of, uh, this, of this season here uh, in the Indy Fixed, or actually now the IndyCar Oval Series. But this is all fixed setup. In Oval? And all oval, yep, an all oval oh. series, all oval this year. Antonio Soraya should be 
gonna lose a lot, or maybe two. And uh, there's Antonio trying to hoof it as, as fast as he can. Yes. Right now, he's got fat, he's got fresh tires, but he's got the leaders uh, tearing down on him. And they are and can... uh, they are using him as a bit of a a, a, a draft partner as well. But Jesper Ormond's now all of a sudden in this as uh, those three cars that were driving side by side now are kind of almost in single file. Not quite. Brophy to the bottom now. Two by two is uh, is Brophy and Akabwezi. Here comes Orman. He's thinking about thinking it three wide. We see Craig hey. Forsyth on the back on the back stretch. Brophy's coming. Brophy pit road. Locker still going. Brophy on pit road. He gets down to the limit. Not a lot of time to get down to that speed limit. You got to get down there very quickly. Locker still going. 45 of 70. He is not Come stopped. On, Here's Ragon and Estrada. And if I know Estrada, he wants to be uh, away from Ragon as much as possible. <laughs> there he goes. Guess what is that? He moves up into him. I don't understand. I, I don't understand sometimes the drivers when you're clear and then just move right up into them. And now Craig's kind of fighting through. Oh. Yeah. We got El Patron. We got the Sidewinder. And then we have the basically the the nicest Canadian you've ever met. Right there, it's uh, Craig Forsyth. <laughs> hey, all the Canadians is nice. I know you. You are up. In, I know you are up in Canada. Ah, it's, uh, have, it's like a, I one quarter of Canadians, so now the rest is Chilean. Robert Maletska is now your leader. He has not stopped. Eckert has not stopped. Romanzini has not stopped. Sudik Campbell for Porti Morera and Baroni. Those of all the cars that have not stopped, but they're going to have to. I would imagine the, the, the undercut is strong here. He did. Uh, he he have now 48 laps with the same with the same tire. So I guess maybe he came on different map. Like a, maybe uh, map Three or four. Yeah. Something like that. Here's a battle for what we might be the lead once this pit, once these pit stops are done. Orman to the top side over blocker. And he gets the Brazilian clear and comes down on him. <laughs> what what a tight racing there in the quad oval area. That's Beto Sousa, a little bit further on back. He's not involved in the battle. Oh! Orman in the wall! Orman in the wall! What happened? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh contact! Blocker. That yeah. was contact. That's so sad. He's trying to get, he's trying to get it down to the bottom. He needs to get it down to the bottom. Leska still your leader with 51 laps now in the books. Roman Zini P2, Brian Campbell P3, Fraporti right there P4. He might be uh, he just might have made his move to say he's going to pit road. And he is coming off the bank. He'd very smooth stop there for him. Let's see if he gets down the limit, and he does. Good job on his part. Maleska still the leader. Now, you must be right. He must have done a lot of drafting, and it must have, a lot have done a, a lot of fuel conservation uh, on a lower map, just back in the mid-pack, hanging out. And right now, uh, if a caution happens, uh, it's only going to be him and Roman Zini on the lead lap. Mm -hmm, the big win. If. Oh, a lot of traffic in front of... Uh, Maleska right now. He might want to think about coming to pit road. Yeah, and I think I, I, I think that might be what's going to happen here. Yeah, exactly. 
of Craig Forsyth was involved in that battle right there. So that is uh, Estrada Ragon. So Estrada has not got away from the Sidewinder. We got uh, Cody, Ka Cody Natmiller, who started shotgun on the field in that Miller All-American uh, uh, livery from Danny Sullivan back in the 80s. Estrada trying to give it a full send there on Fraporti. Oh, for Porty and Nat Miller into oh, the wall. God. Big hit. I have a question. In between when you told me this, why Blocker is in the pit? Let's see what happened here. Oh, my God. So many things. Yeah, a lot of action going on here. For sure. So for Porty on the bottom... Nat Miller in the middle, and they just kind of cut across each other right in front of Craig Forsyth. And let's oh. uh, let's go ahead and uh, check uh, on his. Here's what he sees. And Blocker might be in because he might have damage from the contact with... Uh, um, Orman. So here we see just, this is what in a blink of an eye, that's what uh, Craig Forsyth sees, and now we're under caution. 100% Paul Kodei. So wow. So um, that's going to uh, everyone that needed to pit, and Robert actually got out and is still uh, on the lead lap when all that happened uh, by luck. So Malechka is first. Brophy is um, coming off the banking, letting cars on by. He might uh, be allowing a reorder here of sorts. So we'll see what happens. We'll do uh, a real quick reset of the field with uh, 56 of 70 in the books. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Really do appreciate it. Uh, thumbs up. Been a great race so far. Good, exciting wheel-to-wheel uh, uh, -wheel action here, as you would expect on the top split. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, click the bell for notifications. And if you haven't done so already, please donate to the program. Uh, we do this for free on behalf of the uh, IndyCar community. Uh, and if you have an opportunity, please uh, visit our GoFundMe and the link in the description, uh, or excuse me, the link is in the description and donate to the broadcast. And we really, really would appreciate it. And again, I want to thank the guys at 4D Racewear for sponsoring our coverage. Uh, 4D Racewear are makers of uh, shoes, gloves, and apparel for sim racing. And uh, if that's something you like to check out, you definitely should because their link is in the description. They make some pretty good products. And uh, right there, uh, you saw one of their cars uh, just nearly miss. Uh, there is Craig Forsyth, the 4D sponsored car. Just missed that action. He's sporting some 4D gears. Wear it. Check them out. Link is in the description. 4D Racewear. We really would appreciate it. And we thank them for sponsoring yet another season of the IndyCar Oval Series here on Race First. So let's reset the field real quick as a lot of action was happening is uh we have uh robert Molechka. i told you watch out for the guy he is now your leader <laughs> helen and Blazy is p2 his teammate uh with the uh, team i5g squad is jacob oster p3 jason brophy p4 rafi eckert uh even though he has two cars in front of him and that is baroni and susa uh, Rafi Eckert is P5, but he's seventh uh, back on the racetrack at the moment. Uh, he will not get the benefit of a wave around. Uh, those cars won't, uh, or he, or not the wave back, because we're not close enough to the end. He's going to have to fight through those guys, and uh, we'll see if they allow him in the pass. Right behind him is Clindy, Cl Kyle Clinsworth. Uh, then behind him is Rodrigo Franzoni, uh, lap down. Mark Murphy is the next car for battle for position is seventh. Tyquilla is eighth. Bruno Romanzini is ninth. Nick Sudik is tenth. That is your top ten. And we should also give that uh, shout out to Brian Campbell. Uh, despite having an incident earlier on in the race, uh, he is up 12 spots to 11th. I think that the, the, I think Robert they have a lot of a lot of advantage. Okay, because, uh, 
Robert must have been a lap down because they're giving him the wave around. And Ackle Blades well, is getting the wave around. Oster, everybody. Brophy. Everybody's getting the wave around. This is weird. Well, they supposed to happen this, what I understand. They supposed to happen this when uh, the yellow flag is in in the front in the in the main straight maybe the war yeah and the pace car coming out and thinking you need to do one more lap so i don't know i i think in my mind but it's really uh, difficult to explain in english but Ooh. it's basically the computer on the racing thinking the pace car is one lap one lap to the front okay Basically, but it's weird. <laughs> so Beto Sousa and uh, I think Marcio Baroni almost got into each other coming back to join the field. But now we're everyone gets back a lap, and we are back green at lap 60. Your leader, RM3, Echo Boise, the Worm Man, Jason Brophy, Rafi Eckert, and Clindy. And they now have we're a big gap between uh, between the four, the first the, the first four cars dropping, and then they have a a cut in between the fifth to uh, to the back. Yeah, there's a, a lapped car there, and then it's Rafi Eckert who needs to get around those guys to join that battle. Now we are, yeah, this has gone by quickly. Uh, Ten laps to go already. <laughs> Oh my God! I thought I, I thought it was more maybe. Oh. <laughs> LGN wants overtime, everybody. <laughs> well, let's get to the bottom on the IRL line, to the bottom near the blue line. Brophy thinking about possibly uh, sticking the nose at the middle, saying, "Hey, how you doing?" But back to fourth now. Hackaboyzy up high. Jacob Oster, the war man, going to go higher. Uh, Rafi Eckert is going to get around uh, Beto Sousa. And if we don't watch out, folks, here in a couple, two or three laps, uh, the Brazilian Bullet is going to join this uh, this battle as well. Who's the Brazilian? Who's that guy? So I the need Brazilian to know. Bullet, Rafi Eckert. Rafi Eckert. Okay. three wide with Brophy just trying to find a place that will allow him to, to go. There's no place for Brophy to go. Washes up a little bit. Back to forward. Eckert might have got the wall, but he's involved in this battle. He's to the inside of Brophy. This is for fourth. Send Eckert now to fourth. He touched the wall, I know. He might have he hit the wall off of four, but Eckert uh, has some uh, momentum. And uh, now he is up high. Brophy down low. Eckert still has the momentum up high. He is now in the draft of all three of those cars in front of him. They're now part of this battle. Now the the the, the question is, what line do you follow? Where do you try to go? Well, to be honest, um, if I'm Maleska, I just stay on my line. Oh, I know I'm gonna win. I so close. To keep Keep going, keep going, keep going. Sorry. Okay. I said, uh, I said that um, Maleska. I don't want to say this because maybe it's gonna be a yellow flag two laps to go, and he's gonna lose the first leg. The first. Oh my god. Gonna... Oh, Rafi was thinking oh. about it. Yeah. 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 Uh, so the fourth place, rifle. Oh, there's a lot of things to to to. I have a lot, of, a lot of things in my mind to say it, but the, I see the action is like, oh my God. So <laughs> it almost, almost break to Valeska. So it's like, a, okay, so if you're second, for sure, you need to Ooh. be close to Valeska to have a uh, side draft. But it's too short, the track. Ooh, gonna be a, Profi in the wall a little bit. I think he made contact with the corner four wall. It's going to hurt his momentum. 
could be the second time. Two laps to go, three miles to the side here. Top split, a uh, a nice a nice strength of field tonight. Uh, we had a uh, forty six sixty six. Acquabuese getting in the draft. Almost wheel contact between Brophy and Eckert. They're side by side. Final lap. Three wide down the back stretch. Eckert trying to look at the four wide if he can. If Eckert could push, he would. Down to the bottom, Maleska, RM3. is going to have the lead coming off of four. And I don't think anyone has enough momentum to get him. RM3, your winner tonight. What a great race at Charlotte. So smart, Maleska. It's so smart. It's I say I wanna say it's too smart. <laughs> it's too smart for us. Because we thought it's gonna be on the back. We thought it's gonna be like uh, oh it's out the battle, but the guy still save a few. It's it's a smart, it's not I wanna say it's not stupid. <laughs> he knows it's gonna be a win because he saved a fuel for fifty one laps. Uh yeah, fifty five laps he lapped uh, pitted on lap fifty five. And and the um Brofin forty four. There there uh, uh, looks like all the boys are doing some extra laps here. Yeah, because this is supposed to be a seventy five laps. They're normally seventy five laps. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody died. <laughs> oh interesting. The uh Let's go ahead and get the final oh, sure. get the final standings up here. <laughs> and here they are. Uh, Robert Molesko with another win in the series. Hamilton Akabwezi P2, Jacob Oster P3, Brophy and Rafi Eckert. Rafi, I'm going to say, had the drive of the day. Um, 19 spots, started shotgun on the field there, nearly shotgun on the field, up the fifth. Roman Zini, uh, I believe he um, had the purple lap for most of the race, did not hold it. The purple lap went to Brophy uh, closer to the end. He is sixth. Murphy, seventh. Campbell, he also, uh, if I could give uh, him a little bit of uh, a love as well, Ryan Campbell, everyone show him some love and chat uh, with a, a great run from, uh, he was shotgun on the field, up 15 spots to P8. Clindy, P9. Nick Sudik, 10th. Uh, Trey Shadid, 11th. Uh, Alan Moreira, 12th. Forsyth, 13th. The Sidewinder, we're gone, 14th. And Ty Quilla, 15th. Antonio Estrada, 16th. Veroni, 17th. Uh, Alexander, Seb Alexander, 18th. Sousa, 19th. Blocker, 20th. Uh, looks like Blocker might have had some damage, and uh, he uh, finished uh, five laps down, unfortunately. Uh, Franzoni, 21st. Uh, for Porty, 22nd. Nat Miller, 23rd. Uh, then we have Orman, unfortunately, uh, caught up in a little bit of a side check there from the Dark Knight, Adam Blocker. Uh, Blocker gave him a blocker <laughs> and put him into the uh, turn three wall, unfortunately, uh, for 24th. And uh, Matthew Ponto uh, with an early victim of an incident uh, that didn't bring out a caution, but finished 25th. Fun race. Very fun race. All right, let's take a look in chat and see who might be ready to come on up. And uh, there is Jacob. He's here. Let's bring him on up. Hey, Jacob, congratulations. Oh. Uh, we got you here in the booth with LGN and myself. Uh, great run. You were just kind of in the battle all race long. Never quite got up to the lead. But the, the point is you had to be there at the end to survive, and you did a great job of... Uh, doing some very narrow misses of some uh, slight wheel to wheel and wheel to side pod contact to uh, navigate yourself up there to that uh, third step of the podium. Yeah, uh, I got quite lucky with how I ran my race strategy to get as enough of a gap I could between Hamilton and Jason and jump ahead of them before the restart was. And it was unfortunate to see what happened between uh, Jesper and Adam in front of me, but I was able to gain those positions back. So I was just in a good spot, but the worst spot to be in for this car track combo, uh, it was just third, and yep. I just stuck there. But there, there's just, 
It's it, it is what it is. We didn't die, and I came home with third, which is good for the points because I don't think I'm gonna be running any more of these this week. <laughs> Elgin, you got any questions for him? Oh no, I don't have any question. But just congratulations for survive, because I know how hard it's going third and try to think it is gonna be a the victory there. But uh, you, oh well. The question is, do you have any faith to win the race in the? third place at any point in your mind because maybe if you're you for sure i'm gonna have it uh i mean the only way of third place i think could get a good enough run to win is if there's nobody behind them with Raphael and jason behind i can't give myself enough of like an accord like a, a springboard to get a good run without getting overtaken myself so i have to stay high and basically hope that what won't happen is they wash up a little bit and i can scoot around the outside that just you gotta just stick there and hope because you're gonna lose time going into three and you're not gonna be able to get that back. So you just gotta hope to survive and finish third, if not second. <laughs> well, congratulations, shout outs, people who say hi to. Go right ahead. Uh, well, we had a lot of people running this race together. Um, <laughs> I can tell. Like, uh, <laughs> Rob, Rob Hamilton, Adam, Jason, uh, Nick Sudik. I think that's all of us that are in there. If I miss somebody, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it was you know good to run with a good group of guys. Everybody that runs up front all the time, so it, it, it's good to bounce ideas off each other and make this car good. And thanks to Brandon Chan for building the sets. It's a it's a good set no matter what people say, and it's just it it is, it is what it is here. Can't get escaped, Dad. And I'm uh, looking forward to next week in Kentucky. All right, well, congratulations. We'll see you next week in Kentucky. Jacob Oster P3 tonight. Thank you. All right, let's uh, bring up Hamilton. Here he is. Hey, Hamilton, got you in the booth here with the LGN and myself um, up there all day long. Uh, just uh, never really could quite get that nose ahead to uh, squeak for the lead. But uh, you were in the battle all day long. Uh, talk about your race. Um. Yeah, I mean, I felt like I was in a pretty decent spot after like, uh, what is it, Blocker and Jesper crashed and all that because I think Rob would have come out behind us mm -hmm. and I'm just, I'm not sure if he would have been able to make a move from the third lane with me and Jacob holding one and two on the bottom but um, yeah, I, I had fun, like the whole first run was just trying to get a little bit of clean air by getting on Jason's right rear and um, I'm glad we got a green flag pit stop in I almost died hitting for Porty. Uh, yeah, worked out. Have fun. You got any questions, LGN? Yes. I don't know how to pronounce the number car 20. You remember, uh, you remember, uh, Rafi five Eckert. Laps to go. Rafi Eckert. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Five laps to go. He almost tried to pass you in the middle in between, uh, Maleska and you. Do you think, or you thought, it's gonna be at the end on the moment because I really thought the guy want to go for the race. Um, I thought there was maybe a. I didn't think there was enough room for him to get through there. Like, but if he, he tries did. it, we probably die. <laughs> <laughs> he almost did. Yeah, yeah. If he tries to like really stick it through the corner, we probably wreck. But I'm glad he backed out, and um. Yeah, it ended up working out, but you gotta try those things. Like I'm I know why you went for it. You gotta try when there's a wall of three cars in front of you. Um yeah. It was a little scary. Uh shout out sponsors, friends, family you wanna say hi to? Uh shout out I five G, twitch.tv slash Brendan Hyperstar. And um yeah, that's it. Fun race. All right. Congratulations, and uh, we'll catch you um, surely next week at uh, Kentucky? Uh, probably, yeah. All right. Well, that's it. Ham Excuse me if I could say your last name right. Everyone else butchers it. But uh, Hamilton, congratulations on the P P2. Uh, and that's going to bode well also in the championship, uh, which uh, we'll start paying attention to here in the next couple of uh, weeks as uh, uh, it gets uh, further into the season. But uh, congratulations. We'll see you next week. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. I, I feel sorry for the guy. I Everybody butchers his name. I do it all the time, and I try to say it, and I try to rehearse it even before. 
and I, 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 for me. yeah, I just, well, yeah, it's yeah, easy for me to say, right? Yeah, so I, we really yeah. need to give the guy a nickname, uh, and that'll just make things a lot easier for me. But uh, Tommy's better. Tommy's better. <laughs> but uh, here's a guy with a nickname: RM3 Robert Malechka the third. Your winner tonight. Uh, well, you made me look really, really good, uh, Robert, because at one point. Uh, LGN asked me in the before the first stops happened, who's my pick to win this race? And I think the first stops just started to happen, and I said, you were my pick. And uh, for some reason, you made it to 55 laps uh, on that uh, first stint, and you pitted. Almost got caught at the wrong time by an uh, untimely caution, but still able to get out, take the lead. I'm not sure. We're kind of uh, trying to figure out what happened. I guess everyone got a wave around and then uh, got to reset the field there, but uh, uh, almost got caught out. But uh, you made me look good. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, that win made me look like an absolute genius. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. Um, it doesn't happen yeah, often, actually, though. <laughs> yeah, it was actually, uh, actually a pretty interesting race because we, uh, we learned uh, last night that or when myself, Hamilton, Jacob, and Jason were kind of just full stunning each other for 70 laps last night, that uh, tire, we're saving your front, right front tire does matter quite a bit. So uh, I went to tire conservation mode right away, um, rode around for the first, I don't know, 30 laps or so, and then kind of started to make my way back up to at least uh, touching distance to the front four. And uh, once I knew, or once I saw them all kind of pit, between like 40 and 45 i'm like okay i have like i can go to, to about lap 60 because i was saving so much and um I'm like okay I'll, I'll just keep going along you know maybe get a yellow if i get a yellow it's great if i don't then i'll have way fresher tires at the end and um i got also really lucky when i think two or three lap cars or yeah two or three lap cars came out in front of me about 1.6 back just like right inside the draft range and I was just kind of towing around with Dom, gaining about two to three tenths a lap, and um, was kind of keeping pace with uh, Adam, uh, Jason, whoever was up front there. So, um, yeah, once I saw them pit, I knew I was going to go along no matter what, and uh, got a bit lucky with the yellow there. Um, mm -hmm. It would have been really interesting to see if I, or like where I came out. I think I would have came out right with their pack, if not slightly behind, but I think the, the fresher tires would have made a big difference. Go ahead, LGN. It's not a question. I, I say in the in the broadcasting, you are too good <laughs> because you think we are not good to know you what you did. So that's why I said so. I I really saw you all the race going back, try to save a fuel, try to do this. So you it's it's like a, when you go to the the horse uh, the horse races and you mm -hmm. see that. The, the, it's the riding horse. around exactly, and then in the end, boom, gone. Yeah, just pounce. So I really, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know you, so I really know you gonna win. But I ask, I ask you, Gary, who's your guy? So really, congratulations for the amazing race. I don't have any questions. You did everything good, and uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe the question is uh, how you did that and uh, how lucky you are. <laughs> I don't know. That's the thing. So really, pretty lucky. For today. Yeah, yeah. For thank sure. you, Lisa. Uh, yeah, very got, lucky. But yeah, yeah, I got pretty lucky. I mean, uh, yeah, like let's, like I said earlier, like I, I learned a lot last night. Just kind of messing around with and fix, or I guess old one now. And um, it catches me too. Sorry. Yeah, yeah and like <laughs> once I no, got here. I, 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 I don't. I don't. I don't been here for for uh, science two thousand. 22 21 mm -hmm. so it's really everything new for me so yeah. but yeah yeah once i saw uh or once i qualified fourth i mean jason put down a flyer for lap and uh once i qualified fourth i'm like okay you know it's pretty difficult probably to p1 or p2 so i just knew right then and there even before the race started that okay i'm just gonna kind of ride around and saw uh guys pushing to get to the front i'm like you know what Go right by me. I'll pass you in 25 laps with 15% <laughs> better tires, and it worked out. So, wait, I have a question. Go ahead. Yeah. The Iker, the Iker, the number 20. He touched you on the back. Uh, he, did, did hit you something Rafi? to try to pass you. Yes. Did Rafi? Did Rafi hit you at all? I think so. No. No. Look like. 
on the camera look like he hit oh, you really? and you're scary and going down and then yeah i thought anyways it might be close but i think uh switch his last laps there like when hamilton and i were side by side i mean i told him in in discord that like man you're getting like really close to my right rear because i think we all kind of saw or at least heard what happened to jesper and adam where jesper was trying to get the draft and when he popped out behind adam off of two he hit Adam and broke his right rear accidentally. So, um, so I don't know why, but it seems like these cars are very fragile at Charlotte. I mean, if you barely touch the wall here, your race is basically done. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, it was it's always tight racing up front and, you know, it's always a pleasure racing with guys that are, that uh, you are usually up front too. Shout outs, sponsors, friends, family. You want to say hi to? Uh, shout out Parkside. Shout out to you guys. Good to see Luis in the booth. I don't think I've seen you announced, but hopefully you did a great He's job. He's made a view today. Oh, this, this is his, de yeah, yeah, his debut. I, we get to tear off his rookie stripes at the I, end of this. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, uh, I do my best. So <laughs> I, uh, yes. I'm sure you did good. You're Especially good when my English, so I tried my best, but yeah. I did, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think that's about it, so yeah. Well, congratulations on another win. We're off to a great start for the defense of the championship and going to Kentucky, which I know is another track that you're going to do probably pretty well at next week. So congratulations. Okay. Enjoy the week, and uh, we'll see you next week. Yep. Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye. All right. Well, uh, rookie stripes are now off. We just tore those off you now. So congratulations. You passed your rookie test. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what did you think of tonight's race and uh, your final thoughts before we uh, close this out? Well, uh, it's uh, like an expectation race today was uh, really um, not back race. Basically, uh, save like a Maleska did. Stay fuel, be smart, and try to save the tires. That's the main thing. So he did the three things very well. So uh, that's the, the, the thing. And uh, what's fun race, a lot of incident, one caution so that's a good thing for for us and for the viewers so really nice uh, nice race uh, i really i don't have a uh, nothing for at and also too many brazilians i really <laughs> see too many brazilians in the grid that's a good thing because before we have uh, only two yeah, yeah IndyCar car racing uh, yeah. Indy car racing uh, at least uh, with uh, that portion of the world uh, there are uh, more and more drivers are willing to give it a shot and uh uh, of course, we see it all the time with uh, Rafi Eckert uh, won the uh, the DW12 series and the Vor IndyCar series uh, just recently. Uh, his team won the team championship of that series. We, of course, we all know Adriano uh, Panero, who uh, is uh, a big in the fixed series. We see him a lot. Uh, but yeah, it's it's good to see a very diverse lineup. For sure, and especially uh, and. Uh... Especially now, so it's a it's a good thing. So I really uh, I'm really happy with the race. I'm really happy with the names we have today. So I enjoy the high soft 4.8. You said that's something like that. So it's really high. So. 4.6, yeah. Oh 4. yeah, that's 6, right. Yeah. And uh, in chat, uh, uh, Wanderly that said, yeah, that was Cart Texas 2001. I said 99 for some reason. I don't know why I said 99, but yeah, that was Cart 2000 or Cart Texas 2001. You are correct. Uh, that they had the uh, the vertigo too fast uh, lap speeds going on there. But uh, I want to thank you for joining us uh, tonight. And uh, you and I will be together uh, hopefully tomorrow night for a DW12 race. So I will see you then. But uh, that's it tonight for everyone else here from, uh, uh, let's see, where are we at? Charlotte. That's right. That's where we're at. Uh, where our podium tonight is Robert Maleska III is your winner. Hamilton Akabwezi, P2, and Jacob Oster, the Worm Man, P3. Join uh, myself and the rest of the crew for round, uh, let's see, we be round three next week of uh, the uh, Tuesday Night IndyCar Oval Series Top Split of Season 2 of 24 as we go back to where we made our first ever Top Split broadcast, Kentucky. Coverage begins around 8.15 p.m. Eastern Time. That's 8.15 p.m. Eastern. And remember, it's a new time uh, with the recent time changes that uh, happened a couple weeks ago. So as always, you can find out the correct broadcast times in your area 
on YouTube at youtube.com slash race first. Hey, we love bringing these races to you. They're not easy, require time and money to produce. Because of your generosity and donations, we've been able to bring you IndyCar Oval Action nearly commercial free. If you share our passion for the sport of IndyCar and enjoyed our coverage of the 4D Race Wear Tuesday night IndyCar Oval Series top split, please take time to visit our GoFundMe. The page and link is in the description and donate to our 2024 broadcast fund. We do realize times are tough, so any contribution will be greatly appreciated. And we thank you for watching and making us a part of your Tuesday evenings each and every week. Now, as you know, the YouTube algorithm game is not easy, so please help support Race First with the weekly grind. Leave a comment below. Let us know tonight's race. And if you enjoyed tonight's coverage, support us by smashing like in the video. That's always the easiest and best thing you can do for the program. Right there, hit the thumbs up. We would appreciate it. If you're new, click subscribe and why to hit the bell for weekly reminders so you miss out on the next uh, iRacing broadcast here on Race First. We have a ton of them. Like I said, tomorrow night, ISRA DW12 Series, Thursday night. Formula Indy Series, and then Saturday afternoon, IIS from Fontana. You don't want to miss it. Keep your browser set here for the most in-depth IndyCar knowledge of all of iRacing. Race first, we know what Indy means. Race first, Tuesday night, IndyCar Oval Series top split naming rights are paid for by 40 Racewear. Check out their Made For Sim Racing line of gloves, shoes, and apparel. Visit them today at 40racewear.com or find their link in the description. For business inquiries to learn more about what we do at Race First, visit racefirst.com. Like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. All of our Twitter handles are right here at the bottom of the screen right now. So for LGN, everyone at Race First, I'm Gary Gatso saying to all good night. Thanks for watching. And all our men and women serving in the military and as first responders, Godspeed, God bless, and come home safe. Catch us again next week in Kentucky for the next race of the 4D Racewear. Tuesday night, IndyCar Oval Series, top split. Good night.